coming back to Earth again, and back in time too, it would appear, we visit the famous Pinto collection of wooden bygones at Northwood Middlesex to find relics like these oak tongs used in 18th century Wales for removing noisy sheepdogs from church on Sundays. Or less bizarre, what could pass for an ordinary walking stick? But as you can see, this stick has another use. In fact, it's a Scottish bird watching stick, date 1885. You'll note that even in those days, the birds had no privacy. There again, we've all heard of sword sticks, but how many of us knew this even existed? A farmer's saw stick for cutting off tree branches or removing ivy. The collection, started by Edward and Eva Pinto, is today one of the most comprehensive in the world, and often more can be learned from it than from months of book study. This, for example, is a waywiser, or perambulator, used by the gentry of the 1760s for measuring their estates and setting out, say, tennis courts. Often, too, we can learn the origin of famous expressions from the wooden relics housed here. In the 18th century and before, practically every housewife would make gingerbread in a variety of shapes from wooden kitchen moulds carved on both sides to save storage space. The gingerbreads were often gilded with golden leaf, which was easily peeled off, and which gave rise to the saying, taking the gilt off the gingerbread. Gingerbread was even used to assist a child's schooling, the letters of the alphabet being moulded from it, so that the tots could digest their subject in both senses of the word. Some of the most romantic exhibits are love tokens, like this medieval boxwood H comb, typical of those commissioned by the aristocracy of Western Europe for their lady loves, and which often had small compartments to hold a lock of the wooer's hair. Similarly, a favoured love token in England was this stay busk, which came into vogue whenever the small waist was the fashion. Uncomfortable though it was, the busk was worn in the front of the bodice to accentuate the hooped skirt. Finally, a mousetrap, a grimly humorous note on which to end a fascinating visit. 